so earlier today I was very distraught because I was thinking about all of the things that I don't remember just thinking about all the different glimpses of things that the Lord has shown me a lot of which I've shared a lot of which I have not shared things about my past and you know he's given me a lot of glimpse of things I haven't shared a lot it's a lot I haven't shared but he's given me a lot of glimpses and and it's a lot I have shared but anyway I was thinking about how much I don't know and I was burdened by it and I still feel a heaviness it's just you know the Bible says ye shall know the truth and the truth shall shall make you free and I wish I knew these things and I know that the kingdom of darkness does not want me to remember I think some Christians think that the kingdom of darkness wants us to remember so they can get information from us or some stupid like that. I've heard that before, and that's a lie. The devil, his kingdom, they do not want us to remember at all. That is why they try to suppress our dreams and everything. They try to get us depressed all the time or with a spirit of anger or anything they can. They play very dirty, and it's to keep us from remembering things, from knowing things. And I asked the Lord today, I said, why? Or, well, earlier today, uh, right now it's probably like two in the morning. I, I couldn't sleep yet. These things have been troubling me. So I asked him last night, I guess, you know, it's like two in the morning. So I was like, why do they do that? And immediately I felt the Lord told me, because if we remembered all of these things, and if we, and it's not just remembering things, it's like knowing things that we would be more destructive to the devil's kingdom. So he doesn't want us to remember. And immediately I felt like he was telling me I would not fall into depression. I would not give in to any of the devil's stumbling blocks and hindrances if I knew who I was, if I had this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that the devil doesn't want me to hell. So I was really burdened by the whole thing. And I was just wishing that I could remember. But I told the Lord, I said, I trust you. You have everything under control. So I'm not going to worry about it, God. I know that you have everything under control. And so anyway, when I was in that state of just being overly concerned, I saw a vision. And the Lord was showing me a vision of the past because I was like really burdened like what was my past like you know <laughs> all these things he showed me I was telling God the only thing I know is my from my dreams and visions that you give me like beyond that I, I don't have any memories it's like nothing ever triggers a memory so anyway all of a sudden I saw this vision of Jesus and it was this world. I knew it was way, way in the past. I don't even know if it was on this earth. Uh, it probably wasn't on this earth. The more I think about it, it's probably another dimension. But the vision didn't tell me. It was just I knew it was way in the past. And I kid you not. I had to look up this guy's name. His name was Shuraman. I'm not even sure I'm pronouncing it right. He was in the Lord of the Rings. He was the villain with the white hair, white beard, and the like the long, straight white hair. And I kid you not, that is exactly how Jesus' hair was. And I knew it was Jesus. And it was his hair was just like that. But he didn't look like the guy in the movie looks older than Jesus looked. Like Jesus in the face looked young, like I've seen him many times. He looks like he he's in his 30s. I would say like 33. But he had that white, like white, white hair. I saw him clear as day. And he was wearing this outfit. It's hard to explain. Like a prince knight. You know, like a knight that's a prince. That's what his outfit looked like. Thank you, Lord. And it was like silver. You know, I've seen outfits like that in movies and they're really bulky and you wonder like, how did they walk in this? How did they go to war in this bulky outfit? But his armor was very thin. So it looked like it was very easy for him to walk around in it, but just very, very handsome, very good looking. So I saw him and he was sitting there and let me just say like he was sitting on a, I don't know if it was a throne 
Uh, it looked like a throne, but it was a table next to it. So that's why I was confused. Like, is it a throne or is it a table? But it looked like he was sitting on a throne. Maybe it was a throne chair at a table. I don't know. Table was on the side of him and he was like, he had one elbow leaning on the table and he was looking right at me. Like it zoomed right into his face. And I'm looking right at him. Thank you, father. And then it zoomed out and I saw he was in this massive, massive castle. Man, I mean, this thing was massive, massive. I, I can't even tell you how big this castle it was. It, it's no castle on the earth as big as this castle. Forget about it. I've seen many castles. Okay, praise God. I've never seen a castle like this. It's way bigger than anything I've ever seen. It was just massive. And it was on top of a hill. It was this um, huge giant castle on top of a hill. I mean, this thing looked like it had thousands and thousands of rooms. Uh, it was just massive. And all these little tiny windows. And it was just this massive, massive castle. As it zoomed out, I saw the rest of... I was looking at the rest of the world around it. And I saw that there were other what looked like castles, but not as big at all. And they were in lower on lower mountains, on like the top of lower mountains. And then some was like at the ground level and it was people, but they was almost like a dot. So I really couldn't tell you how they was dressed or anything like that. And I knew this was something from the past. That's the only thing the vision told me. It was something in the past because I was like really distraught. Like, man, I wish I can remember you know, me, like, I, I wish I knew more about myself and, and things like that. And I know what I'm saying is, it just hit me. It's probably really confusing to anybody new on my channel. I'm sorry. I know that. I, I get that. you like, what is she talking about? I don't know. You just have to bear with me over time. And I'll talk about more as the Lord gives it to me. But I didn't see anything about myself. I mean, that was interesting to me because I was distraught about, you know, myself. All I saw was Jesus. I've seen this same type of thing many times. I don't know why, but the Lord has shown me this ca a castle many times. Not Maybe not the same castle, but maybe so. I mean, there was another castle dream that I had and I never released it and maybe I should release that I actually started working on the video this was a while ago I can't even remember how long ago and then I was like I'm not gonna release it and then I stopped working on it but I probably should release that one as well because that's what this one reminds me of this castle was almost just like that one thank you God I pray I can find it because I do want to release it now Thank you, Lord. I'm not even sure what this means. I'm not even sure. Like I was asking about myself. I guess it's God's way of saying <laughs> he's not going to tell me anything right now. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Like, you know, just have patience and believe in him because this is just a lot of things I don't know. That's why I can't really discuss this too much. Because I don't want people saying, well, you trying to say this and you trying to say this and you trying to say that. No, I ain't trying to say nothing. I don't know. I mean, I seriously don't know. I've just seen a lot of things and it just raises a lot of questions like, why am I seeing this? What does this mean? So I, that's why I really can't come forth and say anything because I really don't know. That's the truth. I really don't know. Anyway, you guys, that was the visions. Thank you.